So I recently bought two new screens and unfortunately they're not the good resolution. I really thought it was going to be the perfect one but it's actually the opposite. So I'll be talking about that in this video but I'll also be breaking down everything that's out there and why I changed my configuration once again. So as usual everything will be linked down in the description and I'll also link all the best tools for day trading that includes brokers, scanner, charts and newsfeed. So let's get in the video. So at this moment, I switched the configuration. I went with the two horizontal and two vertical. This is supposed to be an extra 32 inch like this one. But like I said before, the resolution is the wrong one. So I'm gonna keep the 27 because I'm a bit fed up of trying to find new screens and not really finding what I really like. And also something while we're here, the resolution of this one is a 2560 by 1440p. It's the same resolution as these one. So I had this impression that if it was the same resolution, the font size would be the same. But unfortunately, that's not really how it works. It's really about how many pixel per like square inches there is. So if I wanted to have the same resolution as the 27 inches that I have over here, what I would really need is technically a 32 inch 4K zoomed in at 125%. So right now, this is just not working out, but I really like the way it fits. Like it's really nice because everything is square. So that means it's the same height as these one. And it's also not too wide compared to having the four horizontal. And a big thing that I didn't like about the horizontal is when you're actually looking at your screens or your charts, you're always looking at an angle and down like below your shoulder. So it creates a lot of stress on your neck. For some people that don't have like back or neck issue, I think it's pretty fine. But overall, I just felt like it was really annoying or I had to lift them really high and the top screen was just getting kind of like in middle of nowhere. So I much prefer um, the 27 as this layout. My favorite layout was of course the vertical, but the 27 inch just, they're not wide enough. So I had to go with uh, putting it back this way before I found actually four screens that I really like and that fits like a four vertical monitors. So when it came to mounting the screen, I had this Vivo dual stand in the back and I have the Wuano or something like that for the vertical ones, which I'm gonna keep. I think they're really, really good stands and they're extremely solid compared to most of the stand that I had. Also, because they're not all on the same stand and the stands are pretty separate, it's not as bad on your like desk pressure if you're using a cheap desk. And I also added an extra wood piece under this desk to make it more solid. Uh, just because I was a little worried, I tried to go with the IKEA Cosby desk, but unfortunately it's just too wide and it was getting all the way to the window with this door opening over here. So this wasn't working out also. So it's about two fails. I have the screens that didn't work out and also the desk that didn't work out. So I'm stuck or back to what I already have. So when it comes to the keyboard, I really like this keyboard. It's a Logitech G915. I think it's really nice with the extra hotkeys on the side. Uh, the mouse, it is the Logitech G502 Eero, really good mouse. And I'm still using the same computer as the HP Omen 25L and it has the RTX 2070 Super graphic card. So far it's been pretty good with the four screen, but unfortunately it does also glitch from time to time if I'm running too many things at the same time. And hopefully it supports 4K when I try to upgrade at one point. So when it comes to this setup, I like the configuration of the four screen. I had this, I think a year and a half or two years ago, and it was pretty nice. The only thing that I didn't like at that point, it was the desk wasn't deep enough. Uh, this one is just a deeper desk. It's still a cheap desk, but overall the desk is deeper. So the screens are not as close to you. So you can see more like what's going on. And I think I'm going to keep this configuration really you're going to try to find some 32 inch that matches in terms of resolution or find some good 4Ks when there's deals. And that's probably going to be on Black Friday or something. But so far, this is the update with the setup. It's not what I wanted. I really hope the 32 would have been the good resolution. And it's unfortunately not. And I really thought I had it dialed in. So that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, like and subscribe. And also, if you have questions, leave them down in the comment section. Peace.